Everyone knows the bad guy is always the best guy to play. They're richer, more interesting characters than the wholesome best friend who has all the right answers. They have more fun, more dialogue, better homes and cars. They have lots of henchmen they can insult all the time. They also fire people with a trap door into fire pits. <laughs> Something that I've been pushing for here at Fox. <laughs> But the real question here is, what's a good guy and what's a bad guy these days? Do we even know? Sometimes it takes a minute to realize it's the good guys who are actually the bad ones. I mean, it's not Darth Vader who's the villain in Star Wars. It's Luke Skywalker. The dude wanted to bang his sister. <laughs> and George Bailey, you know, from It's a Wonderful Life. What kind of dad wants to kill himself on Christmas Eve? That's not a good father. My opinion, anyway. And also, finally, look at James Bond. This womanizing drunk has a license to kill. That doesn't make him a hero. It makes him a Clinton.